Hello, I'm uh, just going to show you our most popular hydraulic calculator today. So it's on the efortraining.com site. Um, go down to the sections menu and hydraulic calculators. Uh, we've got a page here with uh, this access to a lot of calculators, a lot of different calculators you might find useful, but this is the most popular one. So select here and it will bring up the page when it loads. Here we go, our calculator. So this has got, you can see from the top bar, a number of different screens. So we'll start with the first screen and we've got our button here to select metric or imperial units. I was trained on imperial, but I would always recommend metrics. So much uh, nicer to use. Um, and we've got a number of ways of putting information in. So you see we've got a number of boxes and we can just uh, select here our speeds or you can type directly in. Um, we've got our motor efficiencies and we've got the diagram to help show what's going on and the entry boxes work around the diagram so we've got our flow rate our pump displacement and our loads that are coming out so if we change the pump displacement we change the flow rate if we change the flow rate we uh, change the pump displacement uh, if we change the pressure no other ones change they're not dependent on that these two are obviously dependent on each other but now the calculations results at the bottom change so we can see here we're getting a calculation of power in uh, our flow shaft torque and underneath that is uh, another power in calculation to the the hydraulic power in so it's given us various calculations are very easy to enter the whole point you can see what's happening and um, change them quickly just to get a nice guide nice feel for what goes on uh, another good one is the hydraulic pipes so here we've got flow rates uh, we can change our flow rate and we've got some scales for the different suction pressure and return lines so we've got a fluid velocity each system I mean systems have different requirements on their fluid velocities it costs more for a larger pipe work but uh, makes it quieter uh, more efficient so people use different values here but so you put your value in and then you set your sizes and it tells you the velocities here as to shows you whether they're the the orange range is acceptable or and they go red when they're out of range gives you the uh, the actual figures here so it's quite a nice way you can change your flow rates change your sizes and see what's happening because systems don't always remain the same so um you can put in and decide what your sizes should be now the temperature control one this is a uh, quite a busy screen but there's quite a lot going on so we've got we can put heat in through heaters we're basically measuring the heat in and the heat out to find out whether our power unit is going to heat up and how quickly it will heat up and overheat clearly if you put too much power in your circuit into a small reservoir then it will overheat uh, but if you build a larger reservoir with lots of surface area, then it might lose too much heat and get too cold. And uh, we're trying to keep our reservoirs in our nice working temperature, which is 40 to 50 degrees C, so that the uh, hydraulics is working nice and reliably and we don't damage our fluid. So um, you can just experiment here. You can put in your temperatures because this is one thing. It's fine doing one calculation in a MathCAD sheet, but really temperatures change so you need to check what's happening under different conditions even going to negative um uh, one of the only problems i've had was when someone was running a reservoir outside at minus five and uh, the fluid got too thick so um you know you can quickly check here across the range of situations and see what you need to do heating wise and where you can leave units uh, you can change your flow rate so you put your performance data in for your system uh, percentage going to heat if you're using um, proportional servo valves the percentage goes up normal directional valves goes down but you have to look at your circuit to know what sort of um, intensification resistance flow control systems you've got pressure compensated or just uh, normal flow controllers will all affect the, uh, the heat going in so that needs a little bit of work on your part but the rest of it's quite nice and easy we got our tank temperature so you can see what happens at the different tank temperatures how the balance goes you can put in some cool cooler uh, so you're taking temp heat out and see how that works tells you what uh, heat you're losing 
from the reservoir just from the surface area so um, there's lots of 